your name and purpose. I'm Gen Rai, a peacekeeper from Norsen. I was sent here with a message for the Cornerstone. It's about the situation in Chiselk. Ah, yes. I was informed about your arrival. Right this way. Why, if it isn't little old Genrai? Romo! <laughs> That's right, I forgot you were promoted to being a part of the Cornerstone Lucef's personal guard. Yeah, well, you were lazing around in Norse and I've been working hard. Climbing the ranks. <laughs> oh yeah? As if. He's nothing but a lazy oaf who would rather sleep all day than contribute to anything that takes more than a couple of minutes of his time. Now come along, errand boy. My apologies. Oh, Jay Lee, you're still awake? I can't sleep. I don't trust this place. You're not the only one. Figured I'd offer some help to keep watch. Why are we even doing this? What do you mean? Helping them. That Fia has been nothing but hostile since we joined up with them. And for fulfillment's sake, they took us straight to the ruins of Kaelin. I think they were just desperate. I grew up with them in Ocean Belge Lee. Even if he's a brat, Nabu, he was never evil. And was he always this hostile? Noraya, this isn't safe. We can't stick with their group until someone arrests us, or worse, the nameless god turns on us. We need to turn them in. The next chance we get. Enough! I know that family. They are not evil. Nabu, you were awake, did you? 
Jaylee is just in shock of how things have changed so quickly, but I don't think she would actually do anything. And you're either stupid or willfully ignorant. You know, this is why nobody likes you. If you would just try to act more pleasant, then maybe... I hope you're not even thinking of going inside. Of course not. What do you think is inside of there anyway? Ugh, probably every reason why this place is cursed and reduced to ruins. Nabu? It's that guy again. <laughs> uh, this place gives me a headache. But aren't you a little far from your group? We were just taking a walk. This late at night? This is not the best place for a leisurely stroll. And why is that? Wait! You there! When we first ran into you, as we entered these ruins, Raju was acting strangely. What was that all about? Oh, that? He just wasn't expecting to see someone he met from his days in Norsen. So, you did know him? <laughs> yeah, I know your sister too. My sister? I, I don't have a sister. Actually, never mind. Wake up your friends and get out of here. Now. Leave now. It's the middle of the night. Fine. Stay if you want to end up like those guards from before. Norsen has answered my challenge and are on their way right now. How can you even tell that? The same way I knew when your group arrived. If you don't believe me, just climb up those ruins. Yo! How did you? That doesn't matter. Just wake up your friends and... Hey now. Stop! idea what you just did? You just tried to kill Jylee. I was trying to trap her. And you use the lava for that? Lava is the only element I can control. I'll find Jaylee. The rest of you can deal with him. Soldiers! What do you want? I need help. Take me to your leader. Cornerstone Yusef, we just spotted a lone Fia approaching us from out of the Kialon ruins. She stopped some of our scouts. Really? Now why would she do that? It was a lioness. She appears to be looking for us. Is that so? Then let her come, but stay on your guard.
That was a bad move. She got away, and now you're all in danger. I think I know danger when I see it. But he is right. There was a large group of people following us from beyond the hill. I saw them. What? We were being followed? They weren't following you. Norson sent their soldiers after me. But that lioness went to turn the whole lot of you in. Jiley would not betray then why us. why else did she run out of the ruins the moment I warned you of their presence? You are the one who bears the emblem of Norson. You are the one who called them on us. I did not. Returning to Norson has never been my goal. And what is it then? What could you possibly want if it wasn't the fame and glory from being the one responsible for turning in the incarnation of the Nameless God and saving the entire country. That prophecy of the Nameless God is nothing but a lie. Just as the legend of fulfillment sealing her brother in the abyss was a lie to just justify destroying everything this city stood for. You want to know what I want? I want to rebuild everything that Norsen tore down. I am going to restore the Kialun dynasty, and I will stand at its head. So, the rumors about these ruins being cursed are true after all. You really are insane. Rebuild the Kialun dynasty? That empire fell into ruin for a reason. But was it for the reason you think it was? You say Kialun became corrupted and was destroyed. I say that the corruption is what Norsen was built upon. You say Fulfillment sealed the Nameless God away in the fires of the Abyss. I say that Fulfillment and her brother never fought to begin with. Blasphemy. That's all I hear from you. We're leaving. But I have a warning for you. I don't know what game you think you're playing, but we're not having any part of it. Nabu's been through enough, and if you touch him or any of the rest of us, I will personally see to it that your blood lines the streets of your sacred ruin, the advent of Kaelun. You won't escape from Norse in that way. There's only one way to leave these ruins without being spotted, and you'll need me to navigate it. You stay away from us. <laughs> For someone with Asian truck, your powers are surprisingly weak. That's because I was specifically trying not to actually hurt any of you. Thank you for your information, Jaili. When the incarnation and the one who unlocked that Heijan truck are captured, I will see to it that your name reaches the Emperor's ears. I am sure you will be most pleased with your loyalty. Sir, there's someone over there! Shaheven? Oh, do you know this fear? He... yes. He was one of the ones who... accidentally helped the Nameless God to escape from Darug and Trasek. Jaylee, think about what you're doing! Do you really think they'll let us go just like that? Bind him, and find the rest. Oh dear, stay still! I, I can gather the ingredients for the antidote and- We don't have time for that. I have to go now before they attack. But you can't fight like this! I can heal you! I just need to find a few more herbs and then- I said there isn't time for that. I will be fine. Just... Have the antidote ready for when I get back. Oh 
dear! Sarkin? Did you use Malig Venom when you shot that guy back there? He's going to die! I know. I just saw him try to burn Jiley, and I wasn't thinking clearly. I... Well, it's too late to go back now. Besides, people like that have an uncanny ability to stay alive. Even if, it might be better if he didn't make it. Perhaps so, but at least this way we already know he's out there. Raju? <gasps> Take another step and we'll have you all dead where you stand. Our soldiers have you surrounded. Do not resist and you may be shown mercy. We are merely a small group of travelers crossing the desert. We pose no threat to anyone, and request that you let us on our way. Then would you like to explain what you are doing with the incarnation of the Nameless God among you? We received word from a contact that you have been sheltering him, and even went as far as to seek refuge in Kjallin. Where is Jibin? If you mean the albino, we have him bound at our camp. He's still alive though, for now at least. And if you hand over the Incarnation peacefully, the rest of you may receive a lighter sentence. We will not let you have Nabu! He isn't a threat to you anyway! Oh, really? Yet Jai Li here tells me he was talking with a criminal who unlocked a Heijan truck. Perhaps planning something? Like we would! We left the ruins because of that lunatic. He was absolutely insane! He speaks of rebuilding the Kaelun dynasty! Those are heavy accusations. It would make him have to be the fabled advent of Kialun if that was the case. And maybe he is. He called himself by the name Athir, and who would name their child after a star sign, knowing of that legend? Ah, see. However, don't think that will give you a free pass. That Fia has been condemned to death by the Emperor's orders. Hand him over, and I will let the rest of you go. Cornerstone Lushef, what are you saying? These people have been sheltering a fugitive! They are just as guilty. The rest of you will be allowed to escape unharmed. The border with Zanark lies across that river, and I will permit you to cross on the condition that you hand over the Red Eyed Fear. These people are criminals harboring the Nameless God! They all shall be captured at the very least! I am the Cornerstone. I am the one with authority, and have stated my demands. Then we'll see what the Emperor has to say about that. Very well. Capture them if you can. I don't care what you offer or threaten us with. I will not let you touch my brother! I'll create an opening. You make sure everyone gets out of here. But this isn't a sacrifice. You can fly, you follow after us. Yeah. I'll do that.
Wait, see the rest. I just wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Joe, we ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for what I love. Still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I've won They say I'm way too obsessed And I've got nothing left And I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end No